Hi, this is John's Feet in Los Angeles. I know you're secretly digging it. Come on, tell the truth. Taking a walk down the beach. It's May 28th, 2020. About uh, 3.30 in the afternoon. Just showing you what it's like out there. First off, everything looks okay in the sky here. The blue and all that. There's no major disasters up there. But look at the uh, out over the ocean out there. Look at that. That is not looking natural. At all. Call me crazy. But um, it feels good to get away from the Musketeers. They're they're taking it pretty serious out here. Um, I'm running into a few that that uh, you know say this is ridiculous, and they know it. They know it's just about control. That's all this is, anyway. It has nothing to do with the virus. We see how far they can push us. That's all there is to it. And see if we follow orders, and then if we do. Phase two, in my opinion, that's what they're going to try and pull. I don't know what it's going to be, and I, I'm sick of the thought of it. But the thing that's really making me nauseous is the poor parents that uh, have to send their kids to school with all these new stipulations. I hope they won't do it. You know, you got to wear the mask all day long, sit six feet apart from each other. It's just going to turn everybody into this paranoid mess. You know, it really, these kids don't have a, a chance with these monsters all over them. And I'm sick of it. I'll do everything I can to not let that happen. You know? It's just turned everybody weird, man. Everybody's a germ phobe and all freaked out. I was in uh, Mother's Market today. I felt bad about this one, but uh, this is just one adventure. You know, every day, the lady working at the uh, deli counter, she shows up, goes, can I help you? I look up, and she's got the American flag mask on. And it just hit me wrong. You know, it's like, really, you're celebrating being a slave and wearing a mask that you don't have to wear and cutting off your oxygen. And I, I kind of told it to her like that. And she got all upset, started tearing up, saying, Flag Day is my birthday. I'm like, oh, my God, I caused a problem. So I, I got out of there, and I saw her a little later on sitting on the bench outside having lunch. And I, I, I apologized to her. I felt really bad. You know, that I hurt somebody and I didn't like that, so so uh, I told her I was sorry and she goes, well, th th we have to take this serious. 10,000 people are dying from this stuff every day or some shit like that. And I could tell she listens to the mainstream news and she's all feared out over that. So anyway, I felt bad, but there's people are believing this stuff on the news and guys, they are there to scare us and tell us ungodly numbers of people are dying. When I don't believe that's true for a second. You know? Yeah, um... Home Depot. Here's one. I've, I've already talked about this in another video, but... I went through there again. Without a mask. And man, I'm telling you, if there's a, a new sport in the Olympics... It's trying to get through Home Depot without a mask on. There's people jumping out of everywhere. From behind the Roundup poison section and all that. Sir, you gotta wear a mask. Sir, you know you gotta wear a mask, don't you? Just on and on. And this one girl comes up in the Home Depot and she's... I remember her name tag said Stephanie, I believe. She's like 17 years old. She goes, sir, you really gotta wear a mask in here. And I go, you're working in the plumbing department of Home Depot. And you're telling me I gotta put uh, medical equipment on my face? You don't know any what breathing problems I have. I mean, you're not qualified. Is that your job description? You know, she just looked down kind of sheepishly, and then I said, just go get your manager. I know it's not your fault. You're, you're asked to do this, but this is wrong, okay? So the manager came over, gave me a hard time, too. So I finally I got my stuff, though, and I left. And I left without a mask, too. So it's just hard dealing with this stuff, because the damn news, these freaks scare the piss out of everybody. It's hard to watch this. People jogging and playing tennis. And I saw a guy doing pull-ups yesterday. You know, he was sweating up a storm. He's doing pull-ups on this bar and totally wearing this friggin' oxygen-depleting mask. It's just horrible. So, anyway, guys, I guess I'll go back. But I just wanted to talk to you for a few minutes. Uh, I appreciate you uh, watching my videos and uh, leaving really nice comments in the uh, comment section. A lot of them, anyway. Every once in a while you get a 
a little wacky one, but it's okay. I, I welcome them all. So, anyway, take care, guys, and I will talk to you soon. And don't wear that stupid mask. They're making fools out of everybody. They're making you slaves, guys. You don't want that. All right, take care.